welcome to my channel. I'm just trying to show you, these aren't all of my borrows, because I know a lot of them are hiding around out there and stuff, but these are most of the Barlows, and I got this one recently. It's not a new series or anything, but I've been meaning to pick this one up, just because it, it looks different. You know, it has a copper bolster on it, even though it has the Robert Townsend thing on it. Now, what's different between this one and the marbles that, I, that I've done recently is, let me zoom this thing down, I'm not zoom it, move it down so I can sit down instead of stand up while doing this. Um, it's the position of the nail nicks and the position of the blades. If you look over here on the show side on the marbles you have the main blade whereas on the rough rider you've got the pin blade and if you look the match strikes you have to you really have to manipulate I, I can do it even without much of a a nail but you see that how that's that's barely possible and there's not a lot here because it's sloped down there's not a lot here to anything else to grab. You pretty much have to use the nail nick. The marbles here, it's got a long, straight match strike and very easy to get a hold of. Now this one, yeah, it's easy to get the pin blade. But if you want to get the main blade... You have to go over here. You can do it. And this doesn't depress down. Like some of them can depress down to clear it. This one doesn't press down. Alright. So. <clears throat> it has this black wash. On it, finish on it. But here you can see how somebody did the kick. See how they ground that down. And again. It's done perfectly. Because you don't feel. You don't feel that tip. Now these have a copper uh, liners and copper bolster, which is why I got it. And it's got that uh, saw cut, a brown saw cut. Now I haven't cleaned this up, but you can see there's a little bit of gunk in there. That's where you can take a needle or a toothpick and clean that out. Um, but very smooth back here. Everything's nice and rounded on this side. See how much better that would have looked if it had just been that on this side. Because you still got your shield right there. And you're kicking a dead horse. But here's your pin blade. And it's got that rough rider with a Y on it. Half stop. how long the pin blade is. <clears throat> inch and a half cutting edge. Maybe what they would call a two inch blade. And then let's get this guy out. Just a little clip point here. About two and an eighth cutting edge and two and a half inch overall. So again, another <clears throat> not too long blade. Yeah, not dirty. I mean, sometimes these come out pretty dirty. But like I said, these pow. These will um, patina after a while here's another one of the same series see that saw cut there and then it's always a dark you know like fading gradient it's really nicely done and then this is kind of like acid wash or paint or something this is a folding hunter one mmm 
Boy, there's a talk for you. Walk and talk. All right, and then I think the only other one I've got in that, there might be another one, is just the doctor's knife. All of them have this kind of like square shield. Again, the, you know, the saw cut bone. I like that dark color. And then it's going to have copper. So, yeah, that's a pretty good series. I like them. Yeah, so this one is the Rough Rider RR2039. And you can't always get, a, you know, the complete series because it's been out for a while. Some things are not available. They even have one that's got a little axe. A little chopper on it. It's got to be, I don't know, it's a chopper trapper. That's in the Backwood series. Backwoods Bush Crafter. So there you go. There's another one. A little uh, quick review of a Barlow for you. And uh, let me let me get the weight just in case. Just in case you can't wait for the weight. I can't wait for the weight. I can't wait for you to stop bouncing around. Stop your bouncing. <clears throat> All right, we're in grammages. 89.5 grams mode, or 3.157 ounces. So yeah, a nice little pocket size. Again, these, uh, you know, Barlow, they flare out towards the end. I guess you could call them bear heads or whatever. They're all Barlows are usually like that. And then they usually have a bolster a little bit longer, you know, three quarters or so of the, I mean, a, a quarter, I don't know. It's more than a quarter. It's usually like three quarters of a... Is it a third? About a third of the length of the overall handle. There's specific definitions, but... A very useful size, and this is a two-bladed one. You can get single-bladed, and then you can get, you know, Granddaddy Barlow's, which are really, you know, much longer... And then, of course, then it goes with the different finishes and stuff. See, now that, with the, with the, both of them like this, this is the way most of the, the marbles ones were, I mean, the Rough Rider ones were made. You know, with the nail nicks. Both over here. <clears throat> now, this one's different. The Stoneworks, they finally snapped out of it and said, hey, we could put, you know, the main blade on the main side. And then this one on this side. And hey. Let's see. What did uh, old timer do? See, now this is a lot more accessible. Right? Sure you got it right on that one. That's how to do a nail nick. You start getting them down too narrow. Here's a bear and son. Again, done well. Done properly. You know? That can make a little bit of a difference. Just depends on the size of your nails and everything. Or how... See, this one's accessible. It doesn't look like much, but that's more accessible than this one. Oh, well, you can kind of see. Depends on how the blade sits up. But see, you just got barely a little... Maybe a millimeter. Here you got a little bit wider. That can make a difference. That can make a big difference. All right, let's look at it marbles again this is wider i mean this this is no big deal all right here's an old barlow again perfectly done there's nothing obstructing that that match strike back there i think this is a charade i mean not a charade a saber saber 603 hong kong hong kong you pull my hunk on. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, these are just, again, rough rider. Getting, getting narrow on this one. See, you just got a, just a tiny amount. So that that's my only gripe about that. But you can always, uh, if it's a big pain for you, it's your favorite knife or whatever, and you can't get to the nail nick, you can always just go over here with the Dremel tool and make a nail nick on this side. It's not going to hurt it. 
and it'll give you some practice. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, stay tuned because I've got one more knife, a uh, kind of knife thing to review. And then that's going to be it for a little while as far as like reviewing knives. But um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.